everyone, Bellame here, and welcome back to more Dragon Quest XI-S! We are not starting on the start screen this time because I picked up exactly where I left off last time, since there wasn't really a good place to save. Uh, so yeah, we're starting right from here. We're going to go in this light and see what we find. Last time we defeated the nasty monster that was horrible and defeated the, um, or destroyed the mermaid land and... Uh, also through you know messed us up before but luckily we have the luminary power again but anyway i'm not as good as doing a recap as the official recap but that's a slight recap of what we did last time plus we found eric hopefully we can get his memory back today and today's episode so without further ado it's time to game with bell aim let's go sailing into this column of light let's use that lorelei's harp here we go Here we go, uh, moving around. There we go, perfect. That's exactly what we needed. Also, you may hear a little bit of random clicking. Um, that's just Eric <laughs> working in the background. Uh, we're recording in the same area, so apologies if you hear any random clicks. All right, here we are in Sniffleheim. Let's disembark and head on in. Hmm, the music is definitely a bit questionable. Going Something's on? going on. My heart's beating like crazy. Uh-oh. You okay, Eric? Oh, I'm a little concerned. You alright, buddy? Look at him all slumped over. That looks so odd. The fall of Yggdrasil has changed everything. It's more than likely Sniffleheim didn't escape unscathed. Yeah, I'm a little worried. Let's let's see what the damage is. Which is why I think we'd better check in on Queen Frisabel before we head off to Arboria. That all right with you? That's probably a good plan. Right. We're away to the castle to see the Queen. While we're at it, why don't you lot take a look around town and make sure everything's okay? All right. So it looks like we're splitting up. Oh. What's the okay. matter, Eric? You look like you've seen a ghost, lad. It's nothing. I'm fine. You want us to take a look around town, right? I I'm all over it. Mm, don't say it's nothing. Something's going on. And second thoughts, you're coming with us. You're in no fit state to be wandering around on your own. Exactly. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be a burden. Come on now, laddie. This isn't like you. Chin up, eh? The stroll to the castle will do you the power of good. Yeah, let's see if that helps out. Poor guy. All right, Sniffleheim, we have returned. Remember when it was all icy the last time we were here? Although I guess we did kind of fix it last time we were here. All right, who's going to be walking with us? Anybody? Anyone? Oh, right, because we're in a town area. They don't do that. Okay. Well, I guess let's get straight to it. Let's see what happens. Uh, that looks like Hendrik. Is that Hendrik? I think it is. Oh, hey, what'd you find out? I thought the main square would be the best place to gather information, but there's not a single townsperson to be seen. I hear them whispering inside their homes, but no matter how loudly I knock, they refuse to open their doors. What in heaven's name has happened here? Well, we can not we can but continue to search the city. You must do the same at the castle. All right, uh, that's definitely concerning. There's Jade. Let's see what Jade has to say. I thought the harbor seemed quiet, but this is something else entirely. It looks like all the villagers have shut themselves up inside their houses and locked the doors. I wonder what they're so scared of. I'm going to keep looking around town. You and Rab should head to the castle. Perhaps Queen Frisabel will be more forthcoming than her subjects. Alright, I wonder if we can also save. Can we get in? Uh, no, they're just bundling up tight. This is where I would buy stuff normally. I don't even think I can get in there. Okay. Yeah, it looks like everything's going to be shut down completely. Oh, a little lost or abandoned snowman. There's the inn, which is probably also shut. Yep. Uh, we got the horses here. Oh, wait. I think I saw an item. Did I? Oh, wrong button. Yes, there's the item. Must collect shinies. Why, Why aren't you picking up... 
Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's see where the rest of our friends are. This thing also has me wondering what's going on. Is this the green orb? There's a palace guard. We're gonna look at that later. I wanna see who else. Wait, is there anyone else in the party? I guess Eric is with us, so that might be everybody. Silvando, no, wait, we need to find Silvando. Where's Silvando? Oh, there's a taco. Hello, uh, editing Amy here, and remember this little taco we saw? Well, I should have looked a little to the side, cause look, there's a treasure. So we're gonna go pick that up really quick. And it's really not that hard to get to, as you can see here, so. Uh, just wanted to show you all in case you're playing along and wanted to find this random treasure. <laughs> Let's see what we get. A royal ruby. Yeah, nothing too exciting there, but still wanted to share it with you. So, uh, back to the game. Um, Solando, where are you? Oh, there he is. Do you remember when we were here last, darling? The city was hustling and bustling like nobody's business. Now there's hardly a soul to be seen. They're all cooped up inside their homes, and they won't come out and play. It's almost as if they're not over the moon to see us. Yeah, that's, uh, what it seems like. Wait, a fire? Can I camp here? Can I? Nope. All right, time to go in. Let's head in and see what this mystery is. Definitely going to talk to the guard, see what he has to say. Ah, you are the traveler who came here once before, are you not? I'm glad to see you well. Her majesty has been very concerned for your safety. You must go inside and see her. Truth be told, our kingdom is currently beset by a terrible plague. If you could let the queen know that you are unharmed, it would be a one less thing for her to worry about. <gasps> a plague? I swear to keep her majesty safe from harm, but how can I defend her against a disease whose origins escape even our wisest scholars? I wish I could hide inside the castle until this all blows over, but the captain has put me on guard duty again. A guard's life is a hard life. Oh my goodness, no pandemic! It must be 2020! <laughs> or 2021, or 2022. Okay. Let's see what everyone has to say. Welcome into Schniffelheim Castle. Before the disaster struck, this building was known for building the handsomest palace in all Erdria. But now it is better known as the hotbed of terrible plague. Take care that you do not catch the disease yourself, traveler. Oh, jeez. And look at this. This is gorgeous. Wow, I don't remember this at all from the first time. This is beautiful. Queen Frisabel and I grew up together. We have been like sisters ever since we were little girls. That is why it's all more upsetting to see her having to deal with this crisis all on her own and to be unable to do anything to help. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. We can definitely sympathize. The mysterious disease started to spread right after the world tree fell, just when we had recovered from one shock, another struck without warning. Will the illness take me just as subtly as it had taken the others? It's such a scary thought, I cannot keep shaking. Yeah, it is pretty terrifying, gotta say. Crystalinda was once our sworn enemy, and now, not long after she returns, we are struck down by this terrible plague. Few doubt that she is the one who has brought this disaster upon us, but is this really the case? Oh, we've got questions. You'll find Queen Fisabel in her throne room. It's the grand hall to the rear of the castle. She is deeply troubled about the disaster that is unfolding across her realm. If there's anything you can do to help, it will be greatly appreciated. All right, well, let's go, uh, let's go talk to her. It looked like the guards were blocking off the other entrances. If this castle were to be stormed by the Lord of Shadows' most monstrous minions, I would gladly lay my life to the line to keep her majesty safe. But how am I to protect her from an adversary that's invisible and intangible and that may strike at any moment? Yeah, that's... Wow, this is really hitting close to home. Many soldiers of Sniffelheim have already fallen to the disease. Now we are the only ones still standing. But so long as I live and breathe, I will do my duty. Wow, these are very good guards. Okay, here we go. The throne room. Welcome in, traveler. Are you here to see the queen? Then please proceed up the stairs. I am sure she will be overjoyed to see you safe and well. I hope she's okay. She looks okay from afar. Let's let's see. If you wish to know what is happening in our kingdom, you must speak with her majesty. It is not my place to talk of our nation's woes with outsiders. Ah, how good it is to see you alive and well, friend. Have you already met with Queen Frisabel? 
I'm currently hard at work studying the strange plague that is spreading around Sniffelheim. Please, you must talk to Her Majesty. She will be able to tell you more. Alright. Ever since Crystalinda taught me how to apply makeup, I have been a changed woman. I recently stopped by the armors to buy a new axe and came back loaded with earrings and accessories. But then the world tree fell and the plague began to spread. Now is not the time to be dressing up. Oh, I... Oh, man. This is so close to home. I have pledged my sword to Queen Frisabel and her kingdom. Even if I should be afflicted by the fever, I will protect her to my dying breath. Alright, time to talk to Frisabel. Cheer up, your majesty. It might never happen. What's got you looking so glum? <gasps> <laughs> Lord Rab! And your friends, too. I am so happy to see you safe and well. Aye, the feeling's very much mutual. A lot's happened since last we met. Indeed. Yggdrasil has fallen. The world has been covered in darkness. Gold fever ravages my kingdom. But we survived. Some were not so lucky. Oh gosh, gold fever? Is that why there's that golden blockage? What's that now? Gold fever? Is there something going on around these parts we should know about? There is. It all began a few weeks ago, you see. A strange disease started to spread across Sniffelheim. It affects people, animals, even plants. Anyone or anything that catches it turns entirely to gold. Oh, wow. I wonder if we can change them back? This is like a Midas problem. I, I think it was Midas touch that turned everything to gold. Hmm. Gold? We don't know what causes it or how to cure it. So every one of my poor subjects lives in fear of being struck down next. I tried to send for help. But every route out of the kingdom is blocked by great golden obstacles. We are completely cut off. Oh, wow. Okay. My dear friend Kristalinda was studying the illness to try to find a cure. But in their panic, my people suspected her of spreading it instead. For her own safety, I was forced to lock her away in the dungeons. Oh no, that stinks. I have tried to tell my subjects she is innocent, but they simply will not listen. They are blinded by fear. This awful disease has turned my kingdom upside down. Oh, we feel you on that one. This disease has certainly turned this kingdom upside down. There, there, your majesty. Danny looks a crestfallen. We'll get to the bottom of this for you. Oh, thank you. You are always so very kind to me. I will let everybody in the city know that you are here to help, and that they must help you in turn. Take care, dear friends. Oh gosh, I really wish she does- I hope she doesn't turn to gold. I'm kind of worried she's gonna turn to gold though, and I don't know if she'll get to tell everyone that we're good before that happens. Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Gold. Why gold? Yes, why gold indeed? It's a great question. Alright, so, uh, what are we supposed to do? Let me see what she says. Uh, okay. I'm sure that people will open the doors for you now. Please, you must talk with them and find out all you can. I wish you the best of luck. Okay. So we gotta go do some seeking of information so let's see what we can find out do i have to talk to these guys again actually i already talked to them all but i, I want to make sure i gather up all the information they need so you're going to aid us in fighting the fever i'm afraid our own endeavors are at something of an impasse just between you and me we are no closer to finding the source of the infection than when we first began but i cannot bring myself to tell her majesty and the people the bad news I've been trying to learn more about gold fever myself, but I can find no mention of anything in faintly resembling it in any of our many books. The only explanation I can think of is that the disease is not a naturally occurring ailment. It may have been created quite recently by an evildoer with some purpose in mind. Yep, 
Definitely that. I 100% agree on that. Her Majesty tells me you two have volunteered to find a cure for gold fever. Good luck, friend. You may be our last hope. Exactly, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Alright, let's go chat to a bunch of peeps. See what's going on. Ooh, these doors are open now. Let's see what's in there. Uh, this, I believe, goes down. Yep, okay. Down to the second level. Let's see what we can find in here. Alright, there's a guard. We can talk to this guard. Thankfully for me, gold fever has not yet spread to these dungeons. If you wish to learn more about the disease, you would be better off asking upstairs or in the city. Okay, well, Crystalinda must be in here then, right? Let's see. Ah, there she is. Ah, Belaim, how nice of you to visit. Don't worry, you won't catch anything from me. I have nothing to do with that ridiculous gold fever. But when you are a witch, people will insist on blaming you for everything. With good reason, I suppose. If it makes them feel better, I'll play along. Anyway, enough about me. There is something you must know. Gold fever is no ordinary illness. I have used enough black magic in my time to recognize its hallmarks. It's not a plague, it's more akin to a curse. Whoever crafted this magic is more powerful than I ever was. Only you, Luminary, have the strength to stop them. I'm probably the last person you would want to do a favor for, but please, for Frizzy's sake, find this person and break this curse. We are all counting on you. Look, a little taco. Bye-bye. Alright, so that was useful. I'm glad we came down here for that. Let's see what's on the other side. Or is this... That might be where we came from, actually. I don't know. What's in here? Oh, no. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Locked area. <gasps> do we have a key for this? Nope. Doesn't look like it. How do we unlock that? Because there's a lot of goodies in there. Oh, wait. Can we talk to you? Nope. Oh, but we can break these. We might have done this already before, though. It seems vaguely familiar. Alright, let's get out of here. Out of the dungeons we go. Time to see what we can find out from upstairs. He did say upstairs, so I guess we can, uh, well, we, that, we went that way already. Let's see what's in this door. What is this? Oh, this must be, okay, the queen's bedchamber. There's an awful disease spreading about Sniffleheim. Everyone suspected the witch of being behind it, so her majesty ordered her to be locked away in the dungeons. First of all, it's convinced that Crystalinda is innocent, but there was no other way to relieve her people's panic. What a terrible thing for the poor girl to have to do to her friend. She and the witch have become so close. Yeah, that is really sad. I don't see anything. Ooh, a book! Did we read this one yet? Let's see. Uh, the Crystal Kingdom, A History of Sniffleheim. Erdur's far north is a forbidding land of boundless snowfields and freezing icy winds. To call this an uninviting place would be quite the understatement. But thanks to one explorer serendipitously losing his way deep within the cold, dark forest there, the incredible royal library was discovered. Scholars and sorcerers from far and wide came to gaze upon the contents of its shelves, crammed from floor to ceiling as they were with the better part of mankind's collective knowledge. The area soon became a hub of research and learning, and the nation of Sniffelheim grew up around this community of scholars. Ooh, that's really cool. I like that. Alright, nothing in there. Ooh, a magic mirror. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if it's magic, but... Uh, we kind of already talked to these people. Uh, yeah. Alright, that's what they said before, so let's talk to everyone from outside. Ah, oh, there you are. Is everything alright? Mm, not exactly. You see... Oh, there's someone. Uh, she all right? Hello there, madam. Do you have a minute to talk to us? We'd like to ask you a few questions. Do I have a minute, he asks. How can I know when every second might be my last? 
You do well to leave this place before you turn to gold too. Oh no, is she gonna turn to gold? <gasps> Wait, I know you. You're that boy, Eric. You, you know me? Oh, don't be silly. Everyone in Sniffleheim knows you. <gasps> Ooh. You're the... <gasps> oh no, oh gosh. <gasps> no! No, this can't be happening. Oh, this is so sad. What's There's the got to be a way to help. Uh, are you okay? It's... Oh no. It's got me. This is terrifying. It's so quick too. Oh my gosh, this is really scary. This is even more terrifying during a pandemic. Well, that's horrifying. Of gold fever. It's horrible. Oh gosh, Eric, what's going on? Eric, honey, are you okay? Tell me where it hurts. Oh my gosh, this is so scary. I heard a commotion and came running. I never thought that I would find you here. Do you know our friend, Father? He's an old pal of ours, but we lost him after the fall. And I fear he's taken a blow to the head somewhere along the way. He doesn't remember a thing about his life before then. Oh, my poor child. Perhaps I can help to jog your friend's memory. Come to the church by the city gates. And I will tell you what I know of his past. Oh gosh, please. I hope he makes it. Please don't turn to gold. Oh man. We're about to learn about Eric though. This is That part is exciting because I am very curious to hear about what's going on with Eric. Alright, well. Uh, let's see what they have to say. They got someone in gold right behind them. <laughs> gold fever has struck again. This world is going to rack and ruin and there's nothing we can do to stop it. And I'm sorry to inform you, but the castle is off limits to visitors after dark. We may not be able to protect the people from this terrible disease, but at least we can protect the queen. So now you've seen for yourself the terrible effects of gold fever. And there is no cure. No way for us to escape its clutches. One day it will come for us all. I miss the good old days when I did not have to worry about being turned to gold. When I could just close my eyes and sleep through every shift. <laughs> oh no. Oh, we can't even... Okay, we can't go over there. I wonder if it's supposed to be dark right now or if it's just happens to be dark because of how long we've been playing and fighting that monster and whatnot. Oh, look, there is a person out and about. The snow won't stop piling up while we wait for the fever to go away. If I didn't keep clearing it away, we'd be blocked completely. Right, enough talking. I need to shift this stuff quickly before I turn to gold. Heave ho. All right, well, let's go to the church review. Oh, actually, oops. You definitely don't want to be in the water. That is such a weird design for a cold place. I don't know if I would choose that. Um, it's, I guess, around this area? Is it this place? The Reverend Father told me that he wished to speak with you. You will find him in the vestry, the room at the back of the church. Please let yourselves in. Ooh, but first I want to talk to these. To these people who are out and about. I like their outfits. My daughter and I love music more than anything. I had hoped that listening to the scalds would, uh, yeah, the scalds sing would ease our troubled minds, but it does not seem to be working. Hmm, what do I know about gold fever? Nothing that would help, I fear. I only pray that you can save my girl from its clutches. She has many more songs to hear. Yeah, it's so horrible. Mr. Minstrel has been singing a lot of scary songs lately. I'm sure he'll sing something nice again eventually. I just have to keep listening. Gold fever, la 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 la. Fear of gold descends on the silver town and drags it down. Do do do. Such a cold fever, la la. Pretty girl, beware of that golden hex. You might be next. Oh my gosh, that's uh, that's traumatizing. Don't know if I would be singing that to her right now. But I guess people have come up with all kinds of songs in times of plague, like "Ring Them Round the Rosie" and whatnot. For as long as I can remember, it has been my daily ritual to take a stroll around the town and see the sights of Sniffelheim, but since the fever struck, I've had to stop. 
Huh, our great city was beautiful enough without being filled with these gaudy golden statues. Really? Gaudy golden statues? Aren't they people? That's what you have to call them? <laughs> I hear that you are more likely to catch gold fever when you are outside. That's why I'm taking shelter in here. Thankfully, the priest is a kindly man, so he lets me stay. I guess he could be talking about the items that are gold, too. Not just the people. Let's see what he has to say. Ah, there you are. I am glad to see you safe and well, Eric. It has been five long years since last we met. I was here five years ago? Did I used to live here or something? Not quite. The Viking raiders who once roamed the northern seas would often stop here to buy supplies or to drink away their ill-gotten gains at the inn. Hmm, is he a Viking raider? And when they came, Eric, you came with them. Oh. oh I'm Viking? <sighs> Whoa. Did not so see that, that coming. The men I sent to scour Heliodor for details of your origin would always return empty handed. You were born here, a Viking. Uh, Hendrik, why do you look so ticked off? <laughs> not born one. Eric and his younger sister were orphans. <gasps> Eric has the a sister. The Vikings found them, took them in, and raised them as their own. I wonder if I knew that already. Whether I don't know. Was Maybe. For good or bad, I really couldn't say. By all accounts, they treated the poor children like slaves. Oh, jeez, that doesn't sound good. I see. I I knew that he had a sister, but I'm not sure if I knew it from this game or if I knew it because of the there was like a direct that had a game based on Eric, and I believe his sister. But anyway, that this oh this is dark. Then one day, we heard rumors <gasps> that Eric's sister oh, no. had passed away. She passed away. And though the Vikings returned, Eric never did. Oh my gosh! Stop. <gasps> Uh, so is the lady, is the seer his sister, I wonder? That can probably not. Okay, let's it see. It has always saddened me that I was not able to help those poor children more. Perhaps if I can help you to recover Eric's memories, it might... I said stop! Oh. Uh-oh. Getting angry. I need to be alone for a while. Uh-oh. Oh no. Poor Eric, he is not himself Forgive at all. Me. It was tactless of me to reveal so much so soon. Please go to your friend. I will join you when he has had a chance to settle down. Oh gosh, poor Eric. Oh, we're coming, buddy. We are coming, but first, actually, is there a book over here? No. Okay. All right. Uh, where is he? Did you see where he went? Your friend with the blue hair just ran through here in a tremendous hurry. What in the world happened in there? That boy who just ran through here was just my type. Kind of moody, but dashing too. If the fever took him, we would make a real handsome statue. Uh, oh, he would make a scene. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I should not talk about your friend in that way. Please forgive me. I did not mean any offense. Yeah, that was a little, that was a little weird, lady. Not gonna lie. That was a little odd. Is your friend all right? He burst out of the church and ran away toward the western gate. He seemed to be very upset about something. All right, western gate. Western gate. So let's see. I guess we can go up. Let's go back to that where that dude was shoveling. I think that might help. Can we reach it from here? I think we might be able to. I raised these horses from foals. They're like children to me. Soon it will be time to send them away to Galopolis to race in the Sand National. Until then, that rotten gold fever can keep its hands off. I agree. Alright, let's talk to this guy again. See if he uh, tells us something new. Snow won't... Oh, wait. Uh, okay. He's saying... Oh, here we go. By the way, I just saw your friend running through the back gate over there. Had a face like thunder. There's nothing on that side of Sniffleheim apart from the cliff that looks out over the bay. Wonder what he could be up to out there. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. We better go. We better go. Luckily, we opened this door last time. Alright, let's see where Eric went. Hopefully he's alright. I 
don't think we came to this section before, so this is new. Oh, he's wearing he's not wearing his uh outfit anymore. He didn't like it. <laughs> he wanted to wear his old clothes. Hey. I'm sorry I ran off like that. It's just Did you remember? Cuz that's <gasps> Whoa. Huh. What was that? Uh what is happening? Is this pirates, Vikings? Okay, golden enemies. Uh oh, metal enemies. Oh no, he's having more like PS P T S P S T D whatever it's called. Oh no! If the townspeople's shouts are anything to go by, it is not a welcome sight. Uh oh. Oh boy. I will take care of Eric. Please, you must hurry to the harbor. Uh, thank you. I think. Can we trust him, though? I, I guess we can. Oh my goodness. We better be prepared for metal enemies. Oh no. Get out of here. Empty your pockets, sniveling sniffleheimers. It's time to pay tribute to the great and glorious Kildegar. All your gold belongs to us. Come uh -oh. on, you cluttering curs. Let's get to work. Grab the golden statues and load them into the longboat. Oh, no. That's not good. I didn't see that many golden statues in there, though. Okay. Uh, ooh, we're in an action sequence. Okay. Time to go, and luckily it looks like we can uh, do a quick save and heal here, although Jade's really the only one that needs to be topped off, but still, we're definitely going to save. Alright, even though this seems a little weird, we're going to rest <laughs> so that we can help out uh, Jade with her stuff. Ooh, we got a new forge. Forging, uh, we leveled up. Cool. <gasps> Look at Hendrik reading. I love that. It's kind of weird that we're just chilling here, though. Yay! We can now have a little bit more focus. And triple whammy! Ooh, single strike with triple the standard strength. That should help us out a lot with the, uh, with Silvando's outfit. That was pretty difficult to do. I don't think I'm gonna do anything like that now, though. I don't really feel like forging when there is, uh, an attack happening. But I might talk to everybody. Did you see the ship that drew into the harbor? No doubt. You heard the screams that herald heralded its arrival. It would seem that Snivelheim has some unwelcome visitors. Come, Belaine, let us ready ourselves for battle and hurry to the city gates. Alright, so it looks like we gotta fight. I've never seen Eric moan and groan like that. I don't know what's gotten him so shaken up, but we have to sort it out as quickly as we can. I want the old Eric back. Alright. Did you hear that, Belaine? Monsters inside the city walls! We have to protect the townspeople, and there isn't a second to lose. Yeah, I know. And yet we're just kind of like, la la la. <laughs> Don't worry about Eric, laddie. The priest will take good care of him. Let's away to the harbor. If the townspeople's screams are anything to go by, the ship that just docked down there isn't a welcome sight. But this magazine I'm looking at is. <laughs> I can't believe he brought the magazine. I mean, I guess I can believe it, but still. Let's rest until... Uh... Well, it was night before, but we were locked out of the castle, so maybe we should make it noon then, so that uh, we can get into the castle and help save the queen. We're going to go with that uh, tactic. Don't know if that's a good one or not, but that's what we're going to try. At least is isn't dark and scary now. Alright, they did say go to the harbor, but I don't think they meant that. Wow, we could literally leave if we wanted to. Can't get into their ship and, you know, defeat that. So let's go. Oh, yep, we can see him already in there. Oh, is that the golden lady? Oh my gosh. Uh, well. Alright, I guess we need to take them all on? Let's see what happens. There's the lady that just turned to gold. Get the statue back to the ship. You don't want to keep Gildiga waiting. I bet we have to fight Gildiga later. <sighs> the and I bet they're gold. Away with the people who were turned to gold. 
Could the fever be there doing? I don't know if it's there doing, but they're definitely a part of it. Mess with us, and you'll have to answer to the great and glorious Gildida, shining star of the Spectral Sentinel. Cease your boastful blustering, fiend. You dare disturb the peace of this fair nation? Then it is you who shall answer to us. <laughs> you think you can stop us, feeble flesh bags? You're not even worth stealing. Oh, wow. The boss only likes two kinds of humans. Gold ones and dead ones. Let's bury them, boys. All right, here we go. <laughs> we know we don't like Gildiga, that's for sure. Time to fight. All right, Jade, I guess um, you should probably go to, uh, to Vamp. <laughs> it's kind of... It kind of stinks that we have to have her be a vampire all the time, but it is what it is. All right, we probably want to do helicopter. Oh no! It, uh, it's a group of enemies, but for whatever reason, the guild knots are not in the same group. I don't know why. Why is that? That's a uh, very odd. I have no idea why they're not in the same group. That stinks. I guess we could do a quadra slash, but I don't know if we need to save our MP, so I guess we'll just we'll just do cutting edge and take them down one by one. We'll go with B first. Alright. Uh let's see. We're gonna go with Um We'll do Kasap. We'll do, get them all lowered. Oh, it missed that guy. Okay. Oh, he tried it on us! Ooh, what's our pet powers? Blaze of Glory. The two participants put their defenses on the line in order to give the attack power an incredible boost. It only works for this entry, though, I think. And I don't think I have done this before. So I'm going to try it out. Blaze of Glory. Okay. Now we have attack up. Unfortunately, defense is way down, but... That's all right, because now we should be able to take this guy out with our attack moves up. Yeah, there we go. All right, and then with her, party pooper potentially? Oh no, that doesn't work. Um, I mean, it works, but not how I'm thinking. Let's see what this puff puff does. Oh, it's that. <laughs> it didn't do anything. All right, uh, now... We're going to... I wonder what Dazzle does. I've never used it. I'm just going to do it. Let's see if it works. Huh, it worked. Whatever that is. <laughs> cool. Alright. Um, well, let's uh, kabuff. Let's help everybody's defenses get back up. Alright, time for some hits here. Uh, let's try a bunch of different ones. Let's see. Oh, these might be undead or something. Uh, where, what do we have? Undead, Deliverance. Okay, let's try this out. I'm not sure if that was good or not, but we'll go for it. We'll, we'll go with it. Alright, let's go with, uh, Cutting Edge on this guy. Alright, there we go. That's done. Uh, we can try this again. Uh, we can try the Dazzle thing again. That looked pretty good on the last guy. Oh, that didn't work there, though. That's all right. Let's go with... Oh, not that. Uh, Parallax I like a lot. Um, we also could do the Helm Splitter. Get the defense even more down. All right, and let's go with... Um... Let's see what Blow Kiss does. Uh, doesn't look like anything, really. Is his name Golden Britches? Oh my gosh, it seriously is. That's amazing. Alright, well we can now hit him with some attacks here. Let's go with, um... Uh... I guess a Zamel? Alright, and... What else can we try that we haven't done yet? That's on a group, and... We could try the shield one. Why not? 
There we go. Well, no big deal. That was easy. All right, and we got to see some new varied moves. Perfect. Oh, they snuck around. The companions are fleeing. After them. <laughs> Over there. Man, they already made it that far. <gasps> they got Eric too. Eric, they've got Eric. What? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! How? Why? Never mind. Why. Seriously. They must be stopped quickly. Uh oh! Did the priest get turn gold or something? Like, I don't know what happened. He must be one of those. We gotta go after him. So. Oh, Eric. Oh no. We are getting that boy back and we are doing it right now. Where's that priest? He'll know where they've taken him. He will? Oh, I figured the priest was uh, turned to gold and stolen. Oh my gosh, we gotta go right now. We have to, I have to know. Where is he? Those golden fiends came out of nowhere. If you had not been here to drive them back, Sniffleheim might well have fallen. Thankfully, the city is safe. But what of the people who were standing on the lookout to the west when the monsters attacked? I hope they were not hurt. To the west? Uh, okay, I guess we'll take a look over there. What's he mentioning? Us? I guess I'm going to do a quick save real quick. And we're going to take a quick nap. <laughs> okay, let's see what's over here to the west. Because that's what he was mentioning. Oh, there's some people. Uh-oh, there he is. You got some splaining to do. After those monsters left, I came out to make sure everyone is all right. Imagine my surprise to see the priest all the way out here and looking so sad. I've lived this land all my life, but until this day, I've never seen or ever heard of these gold monsters. And yet they seem somehow familiar. Hmm, I'm sure I've heard voices like these before somewhere. All right, what's up with that? I've never been so scared in my life. Those gold monsters came out of nowhere. I was lucky enough to see it all from the safety of my home, but when I heard the Reverend Father was outside the city gates when they attacked, I feared the worst. All right, wonder if... Maybe they're like the Vikings, but turned gold or something? I don't know. I heard that those golden skeletons who attacked the town came around this way, so I heard here as fast as I could. It seems the priest was set upon by the monsters. He has had quite a shock. Thankfully, they did not hurt him, but I'm afraid his young friend was carried off. All right, well, let's see what he has to say. I am oh, sorry. no. The creatures found us, and I was powerless to stop them taking Eric away. Yeah, we saw. Please, do not be so hard on yourself, Father. It is a miracle that even you escaped with your life. When we heard that you were outside the gates when the monsters attacked, we feared the worst. Curse those sparkling scoundrels! They have run away with every man, woman, and child struck down by the fever. They just picked them up and carried them off like so much plunder. Do they mean to sell our friends, our families? But then why would they take Eric? He had no valuables in his possession, and he was not afflicted by the fever. And yet, they headed straight for him. It is almost as if they knew exactly who he was. Hmm. That does lead into the Viking theory. Wait a moment. The way they spoke. The ship they sailed in. Could they be? Cursed Vikings? You know, I had the very same thought. Yes. P I thought maybe those things had usurped the villains. But it seems they... Are them, but how? Hmm. Those gold hungry horrors. They may look different, but we know them. We know them very well indeed. The way they moved, acted, talked. The fact that they knew who Eric was. There is no mistaking it. They were Vikings. The Vikings, dun dun. Uh huh. Have a hideout near here, in a little cave just around the headland. I think that is where they have taken your friend. Yep, seems like it. We'll have to go over there now. Got to get Eric back. I wonder what Eric was thinking with all that. Yikes! 
All right, well, let's, before we uh, do our last save for the episode, I kind of want to head back into the castle area, see if Frizzabelle's okay. And we might as well talk to this guy again. We've, you know, talked to him a bunch. What a shock. One minute I was shoveling snow, the next I was running from a gang of golden skeletons. I haven't been as scared as that since the time a drunken viking accused me of looking at his booty. <laughs> a witch booty. <laughs> Alright, let's go, uh, let's go check on the queen. Because I want to see if anything changed. Everything else is looking similar. Let's see what these two have to say. First, our kingdom is best beset by gold fever, and now a band of golden soldiers come out and make off with the bodies of the afflicted. Could it be that some shadowy figure is in control of them both, using the fever to create golden statues and the monsters to collect them? If so, it must be a being of immense power. Be very wary out there, my friend. Yeah, it's definitely gotta be that uh, guildy spear or whatever. Those shiny swines, they think they can invade our fair nation and sail away like nothing has happened? We must track them down and take back our friends. Speaking of which, one of the guards who witnessed the incident mentioned that the monsters sailed into the harbor in a very distinctive ship. The Vikings who live in a cave around the coast are expert seafarers. Perhaps they might be able to tell us where these glittering ghouls came from. Alright, let's see what she has to say. Ah, oh, Belly, my guards told me what happened. That your friend Eric was taken away by the monsters. I'm so sorry to have dragged you into this, but still, it is strange. Why would the monsters take him? He had not been turned into gold like the others. They must have kidnapped him for a reason, but what? I don't know. What if his sister is still alive? What if his sister got possessed or something and she's the the guildy golden boss person? I don't know. But that, uh, that'll have to be a mystery we solve next time. One quick little thing before we head out. Um, right before I was going to save, I actually was seeing if there was any items I could buy. And I went upstairs to see if there was recipes. And I saw this little girl. And I started talking to her and she started talking about a diploma. So I was like, oh, hang on a second. This is a side quest. So, yeah, we're going to do this really quick. <laughs> What's that, mister? You're looking for a lady called Lillian? Well, my name is Lily. Is that close enough? Teehee, I'm only joking. I know exactly who it is you're looking for. Lillian is the name of my mama's mama. Are you a friend of hers? All right, give Lillian's diploma to Lily. Sure. Let's hand over the Diplôme de l'Académie. Is it a letter from my grandmama? I'm sorry, mister, but she will not be able to read it. She she isn't here anymore, you see. She went to see the world tree. I mean, I mean she passed away. Her story was a very sad one. She came from Zord's dress, you see. One day, not long before she would have graduated, it was destroyed by the monsters. They hurt her mummy and daddy and stole all their money. She had to leave the school she loved and start working so that she could pay the doctors who were trying to make her mummy and daddy better. Because of what she went through, she always wanted me to study very hard so I could one day go to the school she loved so much and learn to be a lady. So that's what I'm going to do. When I'm older, I'm going to go to l'Académie de Notre Maître de Médailles. I will finish the studies that my grandmama never managed to and make her happy up in heaven. But just listen to me, going on and on. You don't want to hear my troubles. You just want to deliver your letter, I'm sure. Well, I cannot give it to her exactly, but I can put it on her grave the next time I go see her. I'm sure she'd like that. Aww. You gave Lillian's diploma to her granddaughter, Lily. You should head back to l'Académie de Notre Maître de Médées and tell Madame Augustine what you found out. Oh, so sad. All right, well, we will definitely have to do that next time we are in uh, that area, but wanted to share that with you all really quickly before we headed out for real. But okay, now for real, see you later. <laughs> Thank you all so much for joining me once again on this wonderful, fantastic adventure. I hope you enjoyed. It has certainly been a blast and more questions to come for next time. So thank you so very much and a huge thank you to all the supporters of this show. Thank you so very much. I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart and I can't wait to see you all next time. Thank you again so much for spending your time with me. Can't wait for more. See you then and until then, take care.